I'm gonna do number three, which is three divided by the mix number three and three fourths times two over three plus four over three. First thing that catches my eye here, well, is the fact that we got to work on what's in the parentheses and this mixed number that I'll need to change into an improper fraction in order to multiply times two thirds. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the denominator of this mixed number four times the whole number three. And then I'm going to add that product to three. So it's going to be three times four which comes out to 12 and then I'm going to add that to the numerator of the mixed number 3 so it comes out to 15 and to rewrite that it goes to I mean it turns to 15 over 4 times 2 over 3 and next I'm going to cross simplify so we, we're going to find the least common factor of 2 is 2. So 2 divided by 2 comes out to 1. 4 divided by 2 comes out to 2. Same over here. 15 and 3. So we're going to go 15 divided by, th we know 3 can only divide by itself and 1. So it gets no bigger than that. So we're going to go 15 divided by 3, which comes out to 5. And 3 divided by 3, which comes out to 1. And it comes, so to rewrite that, it comes out to 5 over 2 times 1 over 1. And that comes out to 5 halves. So we write it right here. So now the problem is 3 divided by 5 over 2 plus 4 over 3. Following PEMDAS in the order of operation, we're going to attack the division first. So we're going to turn the whole number into a fraction. So all we're going to do is put 3 over 1 and divide it by 5 over 2. Next, we're going to flip the reciprocal and we're going to multiply. So that turns into 3 over 1 times 2 over 5, which comes out to 6 over 5. So 6, 6 over 5. And next, we're going to rewrite the problem where we left off. So 6 over 5. And we're going to add 6 over 5 to 4 over 3. Almost getting there. Furthermore, to add, we need to find the find a mutual common denominator, and to achieve that, we're going to find the least common factor. So, or the yeah, the greatest common factor. So let's see what we have for five. Five times two equals ten. Five times three equals fifteen. 5 times 4 equals 20. Yeah, we'll stop right there. I know my times tables. <laughs> and for 3, 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times oof. 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 times 4 equals 12. Sorry if I'm boring you. And 3 times 5 <laughs> equals... What do you know? 15. So we know that that's the least common 
denominator or factor. Still need to work on that. So what we're going to do here is to achieve 15, we got to multiply times 3 right here. And to achieve 15 over here, we got to multiply times 5 right here. And we got to also do the same thing with the numerator times 3 and times 5, which comes out to 18 over 15 plus 20 over 15. Let me bring it over here. 18 over 15 plus 20 over 15 equals 38 over 15. And we can simplify that by dividing 38 divided by 15 to turn it into a mixed number. So we're just going to go 38 divided by 15. How many times is 15 going to 38? Two sounds about right. Two times 15 equals 30. Eight is what's left over. And two and eight fifteens is what we got. Thank you. Mm -hmm.